Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to do radial chromatography with a chemistry class. So each student will uh, should have brought a white t-shirt and the instructions on where those are and all that. If they did not bring a white t-shirt, there are instructions on what to do with that. Uh, but each one should have their own white t-shirt. Each student will also need a plastic bucket that should be stacked over here and each student will need a rubber band and here are a bunch of sharpies if they brought their own sharpies they can use those as well uh, the first thing that a student is going to do is they're going to take the shirt and they're going to put the bucket inside of the shirt as it is the bucket for wearing the shirt you want to get it as flat as possible as level as possible and they can orient it however they like and you're going to make a little drum with the shirt as the skin. You're going to get a large rubber band and you're going to seal the top on there with the rubber band and get it nice and even and again level so you don't want any big lumps underneath the shirt. And so now you are ready to begin. The next thing that you're going to do uh, the students are each going to, I have about, I don't know, 25, 30 markers here, so there's about four or five per, per desk. If they want to share them around, that's fine. Each uh, desk should also have, uh, each lab desk should have a bottle of alcohol, and then students can each come and get uh, one dropper per student. And so... <coughs> Once they have the markers and all of that, that's all that they're going to need. What you will have them do is they will uh, take the markers and here in the center of the drum they're going to make a little pattern, some sort of, it can be any pattern they want, but it, it's best if it's radially symmetric, like this, some kind of uh, circular kind of pattern or something like that. It's also uh, better if they use a couple of different colors and they can this is where they can be creative whatever they like and we're going to get some kind of pattern like that you want dark but not very large dots just intense dots once you get that done they're ready for the alcohol um, normally we have to wear our goggles in the safety or in the lab but for this one, we're just using rubbing alcohol, so I'm hoping they can survive it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little dropper and you're gonna take the alcohol and you're gonna drip it here in the center, not onto, not directly onto the dots, but in the center of the dots, and you're going to let the alcohol be absorbed through the shirt, by the shirt, and it's going to spread out. And what's gonna happen is it's going to take some of those pigments with it and the different kinds of pigments within the marker uh, are going to have different polarities and mix differently with the polar alcohol solvent and therefore you're going to get different colors mixing better than others and some spreading quicker more quickly than others and that's how you're going to get a little spread of separation if we can zoom in and see in there there's slightly different colors on the outside edge there as there are here and some, some of these colors are, and some colors are going to uh, some inks are going to give you cooler separations than others. Also, the slower you go, I'm going pretty fast. What I tell the kids is about one drop per second. So this is still kind of fast, the way I'm doing it right here. Uh, it's important that you do it this way, drop in the center. If they just squirt it all over, you're not, you're not urinating on the design. You're just letting the alcohol absorb through the shirt. You can keep going as long or as short as they want. And then at some point I've kind of gone if you keep dripping in the center you can get this pattern to spread out you know pretty much take up the entire surface of the top of the container here but for brevity's sake I'll just stop there once a student has done that they are free to um, take the rubber band off and rotate the shirt somehow and do a different part with other colors or they could do multiple patterns on one drum top or whatever they want to do. And they can pretty much work on that all period. 
Um, the shirts, uh, I have them leave the shirts in the lab to dry. If it's a morning class, they can come back and get it at lunchtime. If it's an afternoon class, they can come back and get it after school. But I don't like them to take them out in the halls between classes or to other classes because it's still got the alcohol in there and it's kind of smelly and that kind of stuff. And when they have a smoke, it'll catch them on fire. So that's how that works. It's all the uh, equipment should be stacked up here to begin with and it should be good to go. Good luck. Red button.